welcome back to Cruz Brothers React. React. Back, back for more Boruto, man. And the tuning exams are continuing. Um, I, um, I don't know about these two characters, to be honest. Like, I don't really mess with them that heavy. But maybe this arc will change my mind about them. Maybe I'll have more of an attachment to them if I see something out of this fight you know it could be anything really yeah I'm, man a wabi versus this girl man. i'm rooting we'll for see, a, we'll see what happens here man i'm what definitely predictions man who you think is gonna win i'm rooting for a wabi yeah i think a wabi's gonna win too to be honest i don't think the girl's gonna win you know wabi got introduced in the show very early on and i remember him specifically because he was like one of the first new characters yeah, if anything he has a more of a history in the show <laughs> history and reason for winning and proving himself here so we'll yeah. see what happens let's go Man, I, I don't that, know, man. Awabi's looking too confident right now. I feel like he's going to blow it. <laughs> he's an idiot. You know why everyone wants, one, wants to be Hokage? Because that's exactly Naruto's story, bro. He inspired all these kids. It's his fault. <laughs> Predictable, exactly. <laughs> Basic ass dream. She ain't trying to fucking the boast, bro. Bro, come on, man. The quiet ones always got something up their sleeve. They don't got nothing to brag about. Oh, wait. Maybe she just asked. <laughs> maybe, she should, or maybe she really does uh, have something up her sleeve. Yeah. Uh oh, Bro. mom and dad. Her parents are right there. Oh, what do you mean, look, Kiba? Never mind. That's <laughs> exactly this fruit there. And we saw so, them yeah, before. I, I, yeah, I, I kind of figured that she wasn't, but... Uh, your friend don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah, look at their clan, Johnny. A bunch of nobodies. <laughs> trying Yo, to make seriously? A name for themselves out here. <laughs> they came from nothing, bro. They came from the dirt. <laughs> The first one in their family to become a tuning. Bro, or any ninja at all, probably. probably. That's pretty cool. They're all proud as hell of her. That's kind of cool for her, bro. Yeah, man. She comes from a family that doesn't, like, you know, have anything. Well, we don't know that, bro. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> they have the, a house, bro. I'm just saying okay. she comes from a family that, like, uh, probably isn't, is, is, isn't known, you know? Yeah. And they're trying to make a name for themselves. Already, man, look, look at her dad, bro. You know that motherfucker tried to become a ninja before. <laughs> Oh, a family relic? What is this? Girl. Oh, I knew it had to be something with their clan. Monster oh, cat. I mean, they hyped her up, bro. They had to give her something, bro, because, like, yeah, man. like uh, everybody was probably thinking that she was the <laughs> underdog here. That's funny, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Damn. So for the Azuno clan, there's never been a young tune in. So there has been ninja. <laughs> <clears throat> her, her family is really bottom that's of the barrel. That's why they're not known, bro. Because there's not there's not even a Jonin in her family. This is cool. Uh, I like this. I mean, it's all right, but I just, I just, I, I'm tired of everybody bringing the Hokage thing up. Like, well, no, it's all about her family. Bro. Yeah, it's I not know. even about her, bro. The, but you know, and, and we know dumb, why her dumb, fa her family wanting her to become Hokage, or like, obviously they, it's a more than that. Yeah, but she's so. the youngest to p <laughs> potentially become a tuning, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense why they're like that. Uh oh, why we go first? Mountain Jutsu. Yup. Okay. okay. Showing uh, up. Awabi showing up. Way more basic than uh, uh, ho Hokies. But still something. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, Hokie didn't even use his Earth Stop for an attack. He only used it for a fucking terrain. Look who it is. Uh oh. How'd y'all make it in? <laughs> they came all the way from the fucking Sand Village to watch this. That's no, Gaara, Gaara knew about, oh, I mean, I guess they're Bro, Gaara respects the tuning exams, bro. They're already tuning, Johnny. They've been tuning, Johnny. <laughs> That's crazy. Just because you're tuning don't mean you uh, can match the potential in the Leaf Village. And we know the only that. reason our people ain't tuning is because we've been doing fucking world... We've been in fucking involved in fucking war fights here, bro. We're trying to save the world while y'all trying to become tunings. Shinky's just curious about Boruto. <laughs> yeah, Shinky knows, man. The oh, he's like, who's oh, that, yo? Seriously. Yeah, yo, Kawaki, look at what you doing here, bro. I didn't notice he was here either. <laughs> They're gonna try to play it off. Oh, the first interaction, yeah, that's kind of cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're just arguing. Seriously, they got a fight. <laughs> 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 
Oh, they're about to really start throwing hands. They're really this is getting personal. <laughs> I mean, they. I think they want to argue more than they want to fight. Damn, she said it straight. She said, "Yo, there ain't no way you're gonna become no Kage. Stop fucking being. I can dream about whatever. Stop being unrealistic." <laughs> oh, this is like okay. Now this is cool. I like where they're going with this now and the direction they're going. Damn, <laughs> he covered his grandma ears. Oh, <laughs> almost broke your grandma's heart, bro. Uh-oh. You don't come from great family, huh? The fuck is that, yo? Yo, Wasabi's about to unlock a hardcore-ass power, bro. Awabi's gonna lose. Yeah, she, I think she's gonna get a new respect for her family. There's something she's just heard growing up throughout her life. So this is like a summoning jutsu? Well, I said transform jutsu, right? It's like it's almost like summoning a fucking your uh, your summon monster, but be, it being it in itself, <laughs> like a transformation. Yeah. Oh, as she got older, the story kept changing. Yeah. So she was like, "This gotta be bullshit." That's funny. <laughs> Bro, it just she it just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> First it was a tree, a house, now a mountain. Oh, uh, you know why she, she kept saying get bigger? Because she was getting bigger. That's going to be the thing here. <laughs> I guarantee. This guy's jutsu, bro. Oh, he's about to, oh, he about to make a mountain for real. <laughs> Little ass rock. Oh. <laughs> this guy going yeah, to work, he's bro. making it out of the concrete of the fucking stadium. I don't know what he's doing, bro. That's the concrete of the stadium. Look at the color. <laughs> what is he doing, Johnny? <laughs> this guy has such a weird power, bro. His earth style is just fucking weird. Oh, he's making the, a cat? <laughs> he's really making a fucking cat? Yeah, he's sculpting. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> he's making yeah, bro, it. Bro, he's going all uh, through all this just to prove a point to her, bro. Yeah. Damn, bro. Wabi really. Yeah. Wabi reminds me of Asta, bro. No cap. <laughs> These kids are really the ones who are special, bro. Yeah, bro. Like we always thought Naruto was an underdog in the original series, but really he had mad special things about him. These kids are re the real deal. Underdogs for real. He said, without a dream, I can't move forward. Yeah, man. Come on. Put some respect on their dream, Chris. Just because it's Hokage? Just because we heard it from Naruto? Right, I'll put some respect on it. <laughs> man, this shit mad detailed. I'm about to fall on him, bro. Oh, Yo. she's going to have to save him. Yo, are the officials going to step in? Saves him, Johnny. Oh, she has to do it now, Johnny. Yeah, man. She's this, forced. This thing is happening. Uh, this is cool. <laughs> this shit <laughs> is hot, bro. This, this match is something you wouldn't expect, but like. Yeah, man. It doesn't cool. always have to be action. We've had matches like this in Naruto before. Actually, not really. This is something new to this show. I mean, this this I've seen this a lot in the like fillerish episodes. So, but this is this is different. This is like. Yeah, but Cat God Possession, Monster Cat Beckoning Jutsu? Yeah, oh, this shit is hot, oh, bro. Shit. Yo, I'm it's like a gonna... Susano, bro. Uh -huh. Yeah, that shit is hot. Yo, she has her own Susano. I swear, look, that shit is hot, bro. No way. <laughs> they gave the Izunu clan that fucking power, bro. Yo, that's crazy. 10 million re Yo, that shit look cool as hell. <laughs> it looks like a cat version of Kur Kurama, bro. <laughs> Yo, that ass, bro. That shit's cool. <laughs> look at this idiot. <laughs> this man beat himself, bro. I can't believe him. 
But he, uh, man, what what a good guy though. <laughs> At least he. The match. Oh, he said continue. <laughs> continue. What you mean? That man is knocked out. She won unfairly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Awabi is a good guy, but he ain't the smartest yeah, guy. <laughs> that man took the L just to prove a point. <laughs> yeah, for real. It was a unique battle, but the results are what matters. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he said it's impossible. <laughs> yeah, bro, he said, yo, I'll make it to bro. Okage, but on my own time. Yo, that, this man is on Konohamaru time. That is such a, a joke, like, making fun of the original series in a way, bro. How they always get up after everything, bro. <laughs> That's funny, yo. <laughs> you cute. <clears throat> Still on the chase. And they're not going to give us anything. They just show Come that on, yo, What's you. going on? <laughs> oh, next match. Oh, at least we get the next match here, Johnny. Oh, there's only four contestants left. Who's fighting Denki, bro? Yo, wait, who's fighting Denki, yo? I don't know. Oh, wait, they, yeah, I forgot Boruto and Mitsuki still have a chance of getting called, too. Oh, the best friend. Damn. Somebody actually said this in the comments today, said they wanted to see this. The best friends go all against each other. Damn. Sarada versus Chocho, bro. Yo, Sarada's about to lock her third fucking eye in this shit, bro. No cat. She has to. Is there enough going on here? It's further. Of... Okay, Amaro's in a meeting with some people. Okay. Sasuke? Uh-oh. Oh, oh she's trained with Sasuke. I prepared Sasuke. myself before coming here. She trained with Sasuke and locked her third eye. That's what they're going to show in the flashback of her unlocking her third eye with Sasuke. Bro, she if she unlocked her third eye, she would have already had it by now, right? She wasn't. She didn't have her a third tomoe in that fight. What fight? They showed her fighting Chocho. She used her shotting gun. And she didn't have the third tomoe. Okay, but so I mean, yeah, I it. can't. I guess. I guess that makes sense because, like, I don't think you can actually like change between those two. But yeah, anyways, uh, get, getting back to this episode that we watched again, I really liked this episode better compared to last episode. Last episode was good. But All right, man. it so was. You don't have to compare the episodes. Just talk about the episode for what it is. I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> I, I to put respect on this episode because some people might. I'm, I already know there's gonna be people who like like the last episode better. But for me, this one really did stand out because um, of just the character development. Like I feel like this is like some real character development right here. Yeah. I from what I've seen of you know the anime canon episodes, I didn't never got nothing like this from a character. Um, and I've already known this character for a while, this this cat girl. But this was the first time I really um, connected with her on on that level. So it yeah. was a really good episode, and her power was just cool as hell. On top of that, yeah, I like this episode because I feel like uh, the show is um, it was well written. I feel like the yeah. show is uh, um, notices how like a lot of the characters in this show want say the same thing about wanting to become the Hokage thing. Because um, I felt that way in the beginning of this episode with just seeing everybody talk about Hokage this, Hokage that, and want to become Hokage. And I've noticed that a lot of people have been saying that within the village and a lot of the younger generation wants to become Hokage or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was very cool to see, um, you know, uh, Wasabi, you know, want different, you know. Because, like, a lot of people, like, I don't, it's like almost everybody, not everybody wants to become Hokage, but, you know. It's just something a lot of people talk about, but the fact that she just she wants to become her, like her own thing and a, a ninja, a good ninja in her own way. But at the same time, she actually overcame something in this uh, this fight between a Wasabi too. I mean, Iwabi, uh, because she didn't be really believe in herself before this fight, and she she pretty much thought that like since her her family came from nothing, they're always gonna be nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, same with uh, Wabi. She was telling him during the match, she was like, yeah, yo. Our families come from nothing. We yo, she was like, that level. she was like, yo, be realistic. You're never gonna become the Okage. Like, or she was like, we come from, we're, we come from nothing. Like, we're never gonna be nothing or type her, shit. You her, know? Mind, her mindset kind of reminded me a little bit of Nenji when he was a kid, um, but not as extreme. 
Because he was always talking about, you know. Well, you he was talking more about fate and like yeah, people's destiny, fate and yeah. shit, destiny. But she, this is more of like a like a, a family thing where like because then she was it's from a realistic. high a, a high yeah i, I family, feel like you know? what she was talking about was more realistic because she's talking about families and you know their position and shit you know stuff like that which is real some real life shit like yeah. that's realistic it was, it was um it wasn't cool. like nenji talking about fate and shit you know just fate and yeah stuff. and just her grandma you know <laughs> knowing about uh her clan and uh knowing just knowing us knowing the details about her clan and how there is not even a jonin in, in her clan and anybody who has became a chunin in her clan has been an adult when they became a chunin so she's the youngest uh in her clan to become a chunin if she does become yeah and one. that's such a cool uh, thing about her character backstory and her family i don't think i've ever seen that um in this universe so it, it really was uh fun for me to watch and the dynamic between her family was just really cool throughout this episode the way they were cheering her on the way they were um feeling the, the their looks on their faces when they were hearing everything she was saying it's like they were understanding her a little better throughout that match as well on top of everything that was just going on so it was just what it was just well written yeah, so overall that though. mindset that uh wasabi had throughout the whole thing you know um she, she doesn't believe in herself and the way that awabi like really uh gave his all just to sh prove a point to her and show her <laughs> that no matter even if they're fucking like from the family if like they have a dream and they work hard towards yeah. it you bro iwabi was the perfect person for her to go up against and for her to have this interaction with honestly they did they did really good yeah like their that. relationship right now probably like grew just within this fight like yeah, they yeah. both now feel like they be they come from like a you know, um, I don't know who else in our new gen is a new family in our show, but these two are one of the one of the no, two. One of the two, yeah. But Denki, it's not, the, but not Denki the only. Also. Yeah, Den there's a lot of them actually. The um, other girl with the the the, the voice for the power yeah, ninjas. You right know, thing. so there are a lot of people um who are you know new. coming are new and are coming up or I guess you know, but I guess they they really specified on showing that Awabi and uh, Wasabi are really like one of the lower families. They really never had anybody strong in their family. <laughs> I guess so. But yeah, uh, as goes for freaking uh, Wasabi's power, man. That is that is very uh, no joke to have, bro. She they the show pretty much gave her clan a power so unique that is is gonna put her on the map for sure her clan on the on the map for sure yeah like this this <laughs> plan, this power is like no cap you could compare it to like a a fucking suzano or like a, a chakra um enhanced karama like when karama goes around the naruto like that shit bro that's literally what this is bro like she's fucking transforming into some crazy shit bro anyways it was another great episode honestly surprisingly another great anime canon episode you know this is they're on a roll right now i never seen so many anime canon episodes that i was interested in so hopefully they keep it up man i'm really loving it hope you guys are loving it too let us know what you guys thought about our reaction in the comments let us know what you thought about this episode hit the thumbs up button show your support and if you want these boruto reactions in full length you can get them all on our patreon for a dollar pledge consider supporting we'll catch you guys in the next boruto reaction thanks so much for watching take care of yourselves as always and peace, peace.